So let's talk about um, Square Inventory real quick. So as most of the your retail stores and restaurants have evolved, um, a lot of restaurants are getting into the delivery um, aspect of your business. And managing inventory isn't just about like keeping track of, of certain items. Obviously, you know the accounting principles and cost of goods. But when you're moving your business online, it's critical that you're able to manage your inventory so that you're not... Customers are not ordering things that you don't have, and Square can do this automatically for you. And so in this situation, um, if I go to our menu, and I'm just going to click on the Vista store, any prepared item or prepared food item is not going to um, have inventory management. But when we start getting on the bottom here to the retail packaged items, these items right here, um, it'll actually tell us whether the store has those items in stock or not, uh, whether the item is available for pickup or delivery. And if the item isn't available, it'll tell you that that item is out of stock. And so you don't want to be managing this process by hand. You want the system to be able to do the work for you. Um, that way you can go on and live your life and run your business. And so how this is managed through Square is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign in here. And we're going to go ahead and, and launch into this location. And how it's managed on the back end is by going into items. So you're going to go to your item library. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you a couple things. The first one is you can click this little down arrow and you can hit all the items that have a low stock alert. And that's a really simple way to manage all of the items that you're low on stock or um, things that are out of stock. And so we can go ahead and see those. But if we click on all inventory, we're just going to type, uh, we're going to type kind bar. So under kind bar, you can see that throughout our organizations, we have uh, 241 kind bars in stock. Um, if I go here and I hit manage stock on this item, you can see all the locations that I have these items with. And so uh, the Sparks location currently has 32. The other locations have zero because we haven't set those up yet. And we have a low stock alert where Square will send you an email every day. Once it gets, gets to two or below items, it'll send you reminders uh, that you have to reorder. And there's some of the other neat things about this as well. If I were to go in here and um, I want to uh, manage the stock inventory and I want to look at... Um, for example, actually, we don't want to do that. I want to go here, and we want to look at stock history. So again, we're going to go to the main line item here, the, and then we're going to go to view stock history. And you can see all of the inventory movements that we've had uh, for these items. And so Square does a pretty decent job. There's a, there's a better version of Square that has more tools, but for a regular retail restaurant, this is really cool. And so what this is going to do is this is going to manage our inventory automatically and the things that are out of stock, it'll remove them from um, squareup.com. And so, uh, so we've done a partnership with Protein Bakery and you can see that a lot of the brownies are low in stock and we can add those to the carts if we wanted to and uh, go ahead and check out uh, for those items. So really, really neat feature. So on the back end, we'll show you uh, the email system. Uh, Square will do a low stock alert. So it'll send you a daily email on the, uh, on the actual um, inventory. And what I do on this is I just set up a forwarding rule to all my different locations on what items they have. And we're just setting this up for Spark. So you're going to be getting those um, as well. So that's just a really quick run through on managing your inventory in Square. Uh, discard changes. I highly encourage you to use the low stock alert functionality uh, because it will give you a real bird's eye view of all the items, retail items that you have that you're tracking inventory to be able to push those to your online dashboard. So if you have any questions, uh, please comment below.